Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cristal. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today's video is just kind of a day in my life slash nighttime routine. Kind of what we do, you know, in our household with the winter time. So stay tuned. In the UK, it kind of gets dark around 4 o'clock to 4.30 in the evening time. So we kind of have dinner around 5 p.m. Pretty early, but it works best for us. Ethan comes home. We have dinner as a family. In this clip, he's not sitting with us, but he's with Amelia, holding her, talking to her, and playing with her. And we're just having fun, talking with Declan, talking about our day, you know, the normal dinner table talk. So once we're done with dinner time, we love to get Declan into the bathtub as soon as possible because we like to have him on a bedtime routine of falling asleep between 7 and 8 p.m. So yeah, that's just what we're doing, you know, playing with bubbles, the little bath soap from Lush, it's kind of like Play-Doh. So yeah, nothing, nothing crazy going on at this time. She's crying. Mm -hmm. She is crying. Emmy. Hi. You don't want to get out? You got to go to bed? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's get out. So once we're finished with bath time, we just head over to his room, get him dressed and ready for bed. You know, just kind of hang out in his room for a little bit. So once he's dressed for bedtime, we just get him his milk, brush his teeth, and let him pick out some books to read for bedtime. So Emmy and I are just going to hang out in his room for a few minutes while he goes with his dad to get some milk and comes back to his room. And we'll just start letting him pick out his books and reading to him. Are you ready? It's mommy's feet. Are you ready? It's mommy's feet. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we forgot to stretch out your arms. Stretch out your arms. No. Oh, there you go. Thanks. Just like that. White gold. Can I read? May I continue? I'm not good. No, okay. <laughs> Mommy, me. I'm going to be free. My little. My little. My little. So once Ethan is finished reading books to Declan, he'll kind of just lay in his room until he falls asleep. And then I'll head over to the living room in the meantime and feed Amelia, or I'll just go and give her a bath right away just to get her ready for bed. This last few nights, Declan's been having a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep since he's been sick, having on and off fevers. So we were up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and he didn't go to sleep until 4.30 a.m. It was crazy. So last night, 
I'm not even sure what time, but basically, again, Declan was up almost every 30 minutes, every hour. You farted? Yeah. Okay. So we, you know, I let Ethan sleep this time because he was up the other night. I ended up farting him in Declan's room on the floor knocked out. Yep, yeah, we'll watch Blue's Clues in a second. So we, you know, he, he woke up and I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll go check on him. And he is burning up. So, like, I just got up. It was probably like around 1 o'clock in the morning. No, she didn't poop. She's dry. So, we woke up. I woke up around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And he was literally burning up. Like, he was so hot. His cheeks were freaking red. Like, both of them. His whole neck and chest. It was just ridiculous. It's red. Yeah, your cheeks are red. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. And she screams but yeah so you know i'm like okay what the f this is like the third day he's had almost a fever like but this is the worst like it's been so i just brought him to the living room i changed him into some lighter clothes i turned on the fan i got him something cold to drink i freaking made ice last night because i was like he's gonna be chewing on ice all day if this thing does not like cool him down open the eyes yes but she's trying to sleep so you need to be quiet Mom. go get a tissue so we can clean your nose so like it was a whole situation and i, I was talking to my mom because it was still like what nine o'clock over there because we're only five hours ahead from florida but the east coast yeah so we finally like i put on blues clues the alphabet party one and you know two three hours later he finally went to sleep literally it was 4 or 5 in the morning they finally went to sleep so i brought emmy and me to the room and i put him in his bed and then we woke up around nine so that's where we're at right now i checked his temperature maybe an hour ago before i went to shower it was 99.1 so it's going it's gone down tremendously because he was at 101.2 or 101.4 which is bad either way and I really did not want to have to take him to the doctors because we were just there yesterday. Or, yeah, Tuesday. Not yesterday, but Tuesday. She got four shots for her two months checkup. She had to take an oral one. Not really going to touch up on that. Um, she was great. Like, no fever, no nothing. She's She wasn't even, like, you could touch her leg and she was fine. She was still happy, still playful. Um as she could ever be but the weather outside is kind of gross it's very foggy these last few days and it's been raining so i don't want to take him out there even though his stroller has like the blanket fleece liner that's a lot it's a lot so yep that's a little update um so hopefully tonight that he's back to like under 98 like the normal temperature that toddlers are supposed to be and then we should be fine. I don't want to have to go to the doctors. But if we do, at least tomorrow we can call for a sick visit. Because I don't want it to go throughout the weekend. Because I'm not driving an hour to the hospital. Like, that's a lot as well. So, yep. That's really it for my update. So, let's just get started with today. And let's see how it goes. So, after a long night like that, I definitely needed some coffee to help me get through the day. Because... It was so rough and I was so tired and exhausted like I could not believe that happened. So yeah, I'm just enjoying some glazed cinnamon roll coffee and gonna just make my breakfast as I normally do, even if it was almost 11 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Gatorade. Good morning. It's not good. It's not good. It's disgusting. Why? What's wrong with it? 
You want to just drink some water then? Is it good? Okay, so we're in Declan's room right now and he wanted to play with his toys. So instead of the toys that he has in the living room, we're just gonna play in his room. I'm gonna grab Emmy's stuff really quickly um, from her room. And we're just going to read and play as we always do in his room. So yeah. I'm just trying not to spill coffee on our extra mattress in here. Can I come in your room? Oh, thank you. You want me to come in? Okay. <laughs> Guys, when I saw that spider, I got so scared. I didn't know what to do. I had to like gently pull her away from that and grab like the closest book I could to like kill that crap. Ugh, I hate spiders. This country is freaking infested. Like, help me please. Every day, 10,000 times a day, you make a mess. Okay, go play. Declan, what's that? It's like this? Yeah. It's just this. Okay. <gasps> One thing I will say is Declan loves story time. He'll grab five to six books at a time and we'll just sit there and read for 30 minutes and just have a good time. So yeah. So he's just getting some books right now to have me read to him. Okay, you need to get more books than that because that book is tiny. Okay, we'll read Peppa, but get another book. That's too little. Go get some more. We need big books. And she's still, she's still playing away. Thank you. Spooky pooky? Yes. Okay, what else? Okay, we'll read that one. Yeah. Okay, we have six books. Ready? Ready? Say ready. Ready. Okay, which one do you want me to read first? The dinosaurs? Okay. Things you never know about dinosaurs. Did you know that dinosaurs are... If you guys are looking for any book recommendations for your children, I definitely recommend them. It's hilarious. The ending is great. Like, So I posted this on my Instagram and I just wanted to show you guys the recipe for this cute little snack. Okay, so you're going to start by melting a bag of white chocolate chips and mixing it with the cereal until it is fully coated. So just use aluminum foil, whatever you have, a baking tray something that it can come off easily um and then when it's like
gonna harden with the white chocolate. I just want you guys to sprinkle on the Christmas sprinkles, whatever you guys have on hand, doesn't really matter. And just wait for it to set and dry with that. And then move on to the next thing. So now we're gonna do something with the pretzels, the vanilla, uh, the mini wafers and marshmallows. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna melt down that other half of a cup or one bar of white chocolate baker's um, chocolate and you're gonna melt it down. And I would just recommend putting it in a Ziploc bag, like a sandwich one. So, that's not fun. So just put it in a sandwich bag and just drizzle it onto the thing and then everything is on the aluminum foil. Like I said earlier, you can use wax paper, parchment paper, it doesn't really matter. We just didn't have any on hand, so, oh wow. Um, you're gonna get this all laid out, a half a cup of mini vanilla wafers, a cup of pretzels, and two cups of marshmallows is what I do. And then get the white chocolate, drizzle it over everything, and then sprinkle on the sprinkles when you're done with that. And once this is completely hardened and dry, as well as this, mix it up in like a container or something big enough to hold it. This is the final product. Oh my gosh. I definitely sneaked a little bit. It's delicious. Thank you guys for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye guys.